Hello hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack exploiting server-side parameter pollution in a query string. In this lab, all what we have to do is to hack a user called administrator where he has more privileges and then use his account to delete user call it Carlos. But before moving forward, guys, we have some recommendation in here. You have to know some basics of how to use the URL query syntax to attempt to change the server side request. And also, you have to know how to read the error message to build an understanding of how the server side API processes user input. So if you're not very familiar with the API testing and how to do these kind of stuffs, please go to the Web Security Academy and read the API testing chapter. But if you're familiar, let's start. And uh, here we go, guys. So the first step that we are going to do, we are going to map the application. So let's go to the Foxy proxy. Let me activate the community edition. Then let's go to the proxy, enter spec twice, and then go to HTTP history. So in case that I don't have a lot of functionality in this website, I'm going to visit my account. And here we go. So now in case that I don't have any credentials of any users, so let me try to put fake credentials. Let me say popo of username and popo of password, and let me log in. And here we go, now you can see we have this post login over here. Let me now see another functionality that we have. We have the forget password, so let me visit it. And here we go, now I do have please enter your username. So let me try to put Popo in here, let me see what's going to happen. And here we go, now we have this invalid username error. So in case that I know my target username, I'm going to use it. So let's say administrator. And here we go, now let me submit. And now he redirected me to the new page and he's gave me a new message. So he said, please check your email. Then we have this hidden part of the email and we have at normaluser.net. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to analyze these inputs and see if there is something interesting over here. So in case that I'm not interested in get, so let me see this first one of post login and let me check it. And here we go, now we have the return of HTML, and also in here we have HTML. It looks like interesting in somehow, but I'm not gonna focus my effort over here, in case that I'm going to test an API, and this is, doesn't look like an API. But if I'm moving forward, we have this JSON file, as you can see, forget password. So I'm going to make a look of this file. So let me make it more bigger so I can see. And here we go, now we have some functionalities in here. Let's analyze them one by one and see if we can find something interesting. So we have the first one is forget pound ready. So nothing looks interesting over here. Let me see the next one. So we have URL encode format data. Also nothing looks interesting. So let me see the next one. We have valid inputs and create messages in here. So I think this is the input that we already saw it when we have to put the username. So as you can see, we have this forget password error. And I think this is one of the errors that show it in this place. And also we have the form ID, the username, and then we have this action over here. We have the post method. And then we have the content type of URL and code. So this is absolutely what's wrong at over here, our forget password. So we will check it later. And now let me moving forward. As you can see, we have this invalid username that we already saw it when I put Popo as a username. And let me see if there is another thing interesting. And here we go, now we have display message. So also not interesting. And now we have forget pound ready. And in here, we have something catchy. So we have this window location, which means the URL. And then we have this URL search parameters, which means it's going to search the parameter in the URL, which means it using a get method, as you can see it in here. And then we have a parameter called it reset token. And then you can see we have this forget password and then reset token and it's looking for a reset token over here to redirect me to the new page else it's going to show me something different. So let me go to forget password. Here we go. Now let me just send it to repeater and here we go. 
Now let me resend again and see the result. And as you can see in here, we have the bad request, invalid username. So in case that I do have a popo in here. So let me try to put administrator and see the result. And here we go, now we have an email. So what I'm going to do before moving forward and test this parameter, I'm going to see if there is another methods are supported with this input. So let me try to put option in here. And here we go, let me send and see. Okay, so the option method doesn't support it. And as you can see, we have method not allowed, but in here in the header, we have very fruitful information. So we have get and we have post. And let me see the get method in here. And as you can see, we have this HTML and we have this submit button. So let me back to the proxy and let me back to the forget password. And if I scroll down a little bit, and as you can see, we have this forget password using get method, and then we have this parameter which is going to redirect me to the new page. So let me just copy it. So control C, let me back over here and let me just paste it. And let me just make it empty and let me send and see. And here we go. Now we have invalid input. So this is something interesting. So maybe I need this reset token to reset my administrator password and then I will be able to connect as an administrator. But in case that I don't have this input, let me see how I can get it. So let me just remove this one and let me resend again. And let me make it post and let me resend again. And here we go. So in here, let me try to inject some parameters and I will see if I'm able to inject this body. So the first special character I'm going to use is this window. Then let me send and see. And here we go. Now we have failed not supported. Let me try to encode it in here. So control U and let me try to send again and see. And here we go. Also failed not specified. Let me just try end use username and let me say popo in here. So I do have two usernames in here and let me see which one of them is going to be supported. And here we go, now we have invalid username which means it's going to take the second one. So let me verify this one, let me copy the administrator and put it in here and let me just write popo over here and let me send. And here we go. Now you can see I'm still able to get the administrator username and this node is going to be supported, so let me just remove it. I don't need it anymore. So now let me try to add another parameter. So let me say A equal to B and let me send. And here we go, guys. Even that this field doesn't exist, you can see I'm still able to get the information. Let me try to encode this end and see what's going to happen in here. So let's say Control U and let me send and here we go now we do have a different error we have parameter is not supported and this is very interesting so i will try to see if i can replace this a with a supported parameter so in case that i know that the username is supported so let me try to put username in here and i know that there isn't user call it b so let me send and as you can see in here, we have a validation and I can see an information of the username. Even when we see when we use two usernames is going to take the second one, but this time it took the first one. And this is a very good sign for me. So I will try to brute force this parameter and maybe I will find one of the hidden fields. So let me just select the username and let me just send it to intruder and let me go over there. And here we go. Now you can see we have selected username and let me go to the payload. And now I'm going to use some of the very common fields name. So let me go to my VS code and here we go. Now let me select all these fields name and let me paste it over here. So don't worry guys, I will put this fields name list in the description below. So now let me close this one and let me start the attack. And here we go. So now I'm going to focus to status of 200. So let me just put it in here. And as you can see, we have this username of 200. Now let me see if there is another one. Okay, now I'm going to check not just only the status, but also the length. And one of them is going to be my indicator. 
you can see we have this filled name over here of with a status of 400 but the length of 213 so let me check its response and see and here we go now you can see we have a new error over here we have invalid field and we do have a payload colored field and this is something interesting so i'm not very sure that i'm going to find something different than this result so let me just stop the brute force over here and let me try to test with this payload colored field so let me close my attack over here and here we go now let me back to the repeater and let me try to put the payload colored field and let me see what i'm going to have and here we go and let me send you can see we have a new error here called invalid field so in case that I know one of the valid field, which is the username, so let me just copy the username and let me put it in here and let me see what's going to happen. And here we go, now we do have something very interesting. And as you can see in here, we have the type equal to the username and then we have this result. So let me just remove this payload and let me just send again and see the original response in here. As you can see, we have this type equal to email and then we have result of the email. So let me try to replace the username with the email. So let me just put email in here and let me see what's going to happen. And here we go. Now I have the email in here. So this is very interesting and this is very important. So we have this field also name it a field and took the field name. So we saw with a username and we saw with the email. So let me try if I can see if there is a password over here and let me send. Okay, we don't fail to call it password. This is interesting. So maybe if we remove the, the R and O and let me see in here. And here we go. Nothing interesting. Let, let me see if it's equal to pass. And here we go. Also, it's invalid field. And this is very interesting. And here we go. Now I can do two things. I can just brute force it and try to find more and more of the valid field. Or I can just go to my proxy and go to this GS file and try to get this reset token over here in case that I know that this is a parameter. So let me see if I can do this. So let me just put reset dash token in here let me see and here we go guys now we find something interesting so let me just copy it and let me just back to the proxy and see how the endpoints look like so in here i know that it uses get method and then we have this slash password and then we have this parameter and then it took this token where i already found so let me back to repeater let me resend this again to repeater let me just use get over here. Let me send. So this is an HTML page that's responsible to send a request to change your password. And now let me try to add, let me say dollar sign. And then we have this reset dash token. And now let me just paste the token that I found. And here we go. Now let me send and let me see the result. And here we go, guys. Now we found how to reset the administrator username using his reset token. So let me just copy this endpoint and let me just back in here and let me go to this page and let me send. And here we go. Now let me just use one, two, three, four as a password and let me confirm it with one, two, three, four. Let me submit and let me see. So I think it worked fine. So I don't have any message over here, but let me go to my account. So let me say administrator in here and let me use the password of one, two, three, and four and let me see. And here we go, guys. Now I'm connecting successfully as an administrator, but this is not the goals. So I have to delete the user call at Carlos. So let me go to the admin panel on him. And here we go. Now we do have the functionality to delete the user call at Carlos. And let me just delete it. And here we go, guys. Now we finally solved the lab. So guys, I hope that you learned how to make the parameter pollution when you find these kind of post body and how you can test it and read the errors to see if it's possible to make it injected or not. So guys, I hope that you liked my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comment or need any help, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned for the next video.